The fact that Calvi's hanging took place near London's Grand Lodge means nothing. And the bricks found in Calvi's pockets are not emblematic of Freemasons, who are stonecutters, not bricklayers. In October 2002, forensic experts ruled out death by suicide. And in 2006, four men were charged with the crime. None of them are Freemasons. So, if the grand conspiracy is fiction, what is the reality? For the first time, cameras record a Masonic initiation, and you can judge for yourself. The initiation ceremony is um, something which has a huge effect on, on, on the individual. Now, Cameras have been allowed in to record the entirety of a ceremony that has generated centuries of fear and paranoia. The secret initiation into the first degree. As the process begins, the new entered apprentice is alone. He is instructed to knock on the door of the lodge room. Worshipful Master, there is an alarm at the door. Attend to the alarm. He is then led up to the officers of the lodge who begin the proceedings. My brother, you have this evening been obligated by the very solemn and weighty ties of the Master Mason. Having voluntarily assumed these obligations, you have been taught to wear your apron as a Master Mason and are so wearing it among us at the moment. You have a way to travel that is extremely perilous. You will be beset by dangers of many kinds and may perhaps meet with death as did once befall an eminent brother of this degree. You will therefore suffer yourself again to be hoodwinked, repair to the sacred altar of Freemasonry and there kneel and pray. The initiate is then guided to the altar. There are three lesser lights around the altar. When the candidate is being initiated, it is dark. And when he sees the light, those three lesser lights help him see what is here. The volume of the sacred law and the universal symbol of Freemasonry. The square and the compasses. In the first degree, the candidate is blindfolded, symbolizing he is in darkness and in need of further light. The initiate then prays to the god of his choosing. Amen. He's then stood up and is guided through a reenactment of the legend of Hiram Abiff, a must for every new entered apprentice. You now represent us no less than our grandmaster Hiram Abiff. The great architect, who was the builder of King Solomon's Temple. The stonemasons of Scotland had two ceremonies, and the entered apprentice degree equated to birth. So you're a new member. You're born, if you like, as a Freemason. The fellow of craft degree, or the second degree, is entirely focused on education, um, um, being a good citizen, and so it equates to life. But the Scottish Rite saw the need for something more. So what's the third and last part of human beings' uh, existence that is missing here? Well, it's obviously death. Grand Master Hiram Bill, I am glad to have met you thus alone. This is an opportunity I have long sought. Behold, the temple is near completed, and I demand the secret word of the Master Mason. Wait until the temple is completed and you shall receive the secret word of a master mason. If not, you cannot, cannot, speak not to me of time or place. Give me the secret word of a master mason. I cannot. Then die. Like Hiram Abiff, the entered apprentice is confronted by the three lesser stonecutters, Jubila, Jubilo, and Jubilo, each of whom attacks him. You know how a complete cycle, if you like. Buff, life, and death. Grand Master Hiram Abeth, for the last time I demand of you the secret word of a master mason or I will take your life. My life you may have, but my integrity never. Then die. 
This ritual, based on the completely invented story of Hiram Abiff, is not a death threat, as some have claimed. And Hiram Abiff represents the ego. And the ego has to be slain before it can, the spirit can rise free. Grandmaster Hiram Abiff, I heard you cavilling with Jubala and Jubalo, and from them you have escaped, but from me never. My name is Jubalam. That which I propose is that which I perform. I hold in my hand an instrument of death. If you refuse me now, you do so at your peril. I say, give me the secret word of a Master Mason. I will not. Give me the secret word of a Master Mason. I cannot. Grandmaster Heimer Biff, I demand of you for the last time the secret word of the Master Mason. Crossman, wait until the temple is completed, and I will do my best to serve you. Then die. And with that, the initiate is carried out to take his place among his brother Masons. That's it. No sacrilege, no sacrifices, no Satan. Just fake beards candles the symbols of the stone cutters trade and some amateur acting this is what all the fuss has been about this is the work of the notorious cult that so many accuse of sinister plots and ancient conspiracies Masonic ritual is meant, I think, it uses ritual as an instructional technique and it tries to stimulate the candidate into thinking about certain ideas. Ideas no more controversial than the encouraging of strong character and good citizenship. It all seems little more than a well-funded boys club for grown-ups, complete with secret handshakes mysterious code words, spooky symbols, a comfy clubhouse, and no girls allowed. And even this is changing. Today, membership is expanded to everyone. As a result, the modern world is reshaping Freemasonry a lot more than they are shaping the modern world.